do? Um, Who are we gonna see? Camera. Are we gonna surprise them? Yeah. We are currently on route to Holmes County. I am surprising most of my family. My sisters don't know I'm coming. And just Oakland, I and Harper came with mom and dad up for a wedding in Holmes County, a cousin of mine. It was kind of a last minute thing, but I'm really excited to see if we can pull it off. So mom's gonna go out once. <laughs> We made it here, we're at Kara's house, just for a little while. She's not too far from the airport in Columbus, and so we're gonna be here, eat lunch, we got some raisin canes, and then we'll head on up to Holmes County. Where? Here's this. Here's this. Oh, my aunt knows that we're here, but so far grandma does not. <laughs> Probably wouldn't have left little Harper. <laughs> Do you think they're gonna remember you? There's baby goats, Oakland. Where are they? Oh, I see them. Careful. Look at them. Oh my goodness. Look at the little baby goat, Oakland. <gasps> I can't handle it. You want it. She wants to feed him. I can't. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. Takes her job very seriously. <laughs> Almost feels like Florida here. <laughs> Not quite. Do you hear the rooster? Careful, Mama has coffee in her lap. Do you hear the rooster? 
What does the rooster sound like? There's a baby goat. There's the baby goat. In the barn. In the barn. Do you think the rooster's in the barn? I got oh, in the barn. <laughs> Okay, so it's Thursday morning and we are getting ready to head over to the wedding. They are Old Order Amish. They're my cousin. Um, it's my dad's family. He grew up Old Order himself actually. So yeah, I don't know how many clips I'll get today, but I'm hoping to at least a little bit. Uh, Oakland, probably don't pick grandma's flowers, but thank you. <laughs> So I'm gonna try and maybe get a little bit. Mom said uh, they have like a tent for the reception and everything, so it looks really nice, she said. And she's been over there frying uh, dressing. She's helping cook. And they've got lots of good food and everything. So I thought it'd be fun to just show you a little bit. It is literally a gorgeous day. It was kind of warm yesterday and it looked like it was gonna rain today, but it is perfect, absolutely perfect. So Oakland is gonna go over to my other cousins for part of the day at least. Kara did her little pigtail buns. Erica stopped and got us some iced coffee at Wall House. This is where the action happens, I guess. Brown butter for mashed potatoes. catch you guys up on all of that in just a little bit but um, we came out here to Red Mug in Mount Hope. We're gonna have some coffee and a little cousin sister time. Probably go back for the evening wedding. They have evening weddings there so
So, touching base with y'all. Uh, we went to Red Mug, chatted there for a while, went to Mount Hope Fabrics, and that is actually a relative of mine's fabric store in Mount Hope. So, check it out if you want to go there. And then we also stopped at Walnut Creek Cheese because Erica uh, wanted a few things. So, you guys know I'm always talking about them. Definitely hit that up if you're up here in the area and you're new. But I thought I'd kind of touch base a little bit on the wedding today. It was a very beautiful wedding. So Tina, as I mentioned, is my cousin. Uh, she's quite a bit younger than I am, so I don't like know her that well just because we didn't live in the same area. And I think she's, I'm gonna say 19, maybe 20. Um, so yeah, we're happy for them and it was good to, to be there. I got some people spying at the door. <laughs> I came to parent mom. <laughs> Can't do without me. <laughs> She's not even looking. <laughs> anyway, so I know there's gonna be a lot of questions about uh, the old order versus new order and how they do the weddings and maybe there's a lot of preconceived ideas as to how Amish weddings are and how they should be, things like that. Uh, I will just say that I'm sure they all vary by area. So, sure that a lot of areas do things differently. There's also things they probably do the same. Um, the, the service itself was very traditional as far as how they do things. Uh, they have, you know, the typical traditional singing and the way they get married, all of that. Like that part is all pretty similar to each other, I would say, in general. And the reception is obviously more modern than maybe what they would have been at one point. But I think that's kind of typical in life. There are always changes that usually are made as you go throughout life. Uh, things don't always stay the same, but it was a beautiful wedding. Uh, they had, yeah, a nice big tent. Uh, they rent a lot of things and like their kitchens and stuff that they have are obviously portable. You can bring them to wherever the location is and the bride usually, if possible, often the bride will have the wedding at her house. So that was the case today. The, the bride had it at my uncle and aunt's house. And that's something that's very traditional in Amish settings is you have your weddings at your home location or maybe a neighbor's house if you don't have enough room, you know, that type of thing. But Amish are used to hosting church services at their own places usually, like everyone takes turns. And so you usually have to make sure you have room. If you don't have room at your own place, you might be in charge of it, but maybe have it at someone's house. The food is delicious. There is always dressing, mashed potatoes, and chicken there. That's pretty much a given. Then there, there's a salad, and dessert usually varies, I think. I don't go to just a lot of weddings, but that's a pretty typical thing that you would see there. So they had several hundred there. So something that would differ from old order versus new order is the old order would have what they call the evening wedding. So during, they have the normal, you know, service during the day and it's on a Thursday usually. That's a typical day for old order weddings is on Thursdays, which was the case today. Uh, new order would generally not necessarily have it on a Thursday. They would have what they call an evening wedding where they would have sort of like a second reception I guess but it is more for young people I think and then maybe some who were there for the morning would be invited for the evening service as well so I think they were planning on maybe a total of 500 or something I think that was with both you know morning and evening combined so I think we're gonna go back for the evening um, part of it as well they'll have another meal I think there's gonna be more singing uh, it's more laid-back casual that kind of thing. So that is something that is very typical in old order weddings. Gotten questions, what's, you know, differences between old order and new order. There are some maybe belief differences in smaller ways, but as far as uh, how they do things, that kind of varies, you know, as well. So yeah, there's just a lot of work that goes into these, these weddings and it is always just the places look just immaculate everything's just ready to go people chip in help them and everyone you know kind of knows what they're doing they have instructions they're very organized for what i can tell they're very well set up even though they don't have electricity uh, they have ways to kind of out around that they'll there's solar that they use to use generators and things like that so uh, you know they're in a lot of ways they're definitely more modern 
than they used to be so they're able to function quite normally as far as just some of the conveniences they have you know in order to have a wedding like this so I feel like I've been talking long enough and I'm sure there's gonna be more questions um, and I'll do my best to check the comment section and kind of go through them but I know I can't give back to everyone so if you do have a burning question feel free to ask in the comments but for now I think that kind of maybe gives you a general idea as far as this is how things are done here. There's a lot of misconceptions about Amish. I'm always here to try and neutralize that and really give you the actual look <laughs> at how the Amish live and things like that just because I actually grew up New Order Amish. I talked about some of those differences in my testimony video that I shared several years back, but it is still one of my most popular videos, so you'll find it if you haven't ever watched it and you want to. You can refer to that video for more questions if you have more questions about Amish and Mennonites or like the differences between Old Order versus New Order and maybe Amish versus Mennonite, things like that. So uh, you can go refer to that video if you haven't as well. So what you doing? Off to see her beloved goats. I think she's gonna go along tonight, so I gotta get her dressed and ready as well. Erica's showing us her homemade yogurt here in the Instapot. Look at that thick stuff. She's going camping this weekend and she's up here in Holmes County, making the yogurt for her camping down in South Carolina. Yeah. What a good housewife. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I didn't really film tonight much at all, but we are going to be over at my aunt and uncle's. The kids, I say the kids, my brother and two of my cousins are bumping volleyball practicing, I guess. So they dropped off. I came back to change with Harper. She was sleeping, but I guess it was a little cat nap. So I'm going to head back over there and that'll probably conclude today. Tomorrow we're planning to go to Hirschberger's, uh, which is like a animal farm anyway you'll see that in a little bit we're gonna take over one and then do some other errands and things too and then we don't leave until Saturday my uncle and aunt on the tractor Also, fun fact, he is the uncle that does the um, woodworking, so the Heritage Wood, wood Shop. Uh, my Uncle Jeremy, he's the one that will be doing our kitchen, as long as everything goes through with our house that we just bought, or that we are buying. So, he has kind of a, not, not a hobby farm, but he does some farming and does some woodworking, just kind of, you know, things like that, so. Come here, Joe. Come here. What you doing? Teaching her what fireflies are. She's not sure about them. Who's this? Brooklyn, are you going to take the flicker a dick along? You gonna try and show the goats the book or what? Yeah. 
Okay, that's the way. Okay. Here, give it to Dottie. Alright. <laughs> Where's your shoes? Not a uh, bag. Uh, in the bag. Can you say we're going to Hirschburgers? Burgers. Yeah. <laughs> So, my mom and dad and aunt and I think cousin and grandma and grandpa are all going. So, we've got a big crowd. It's a cow? Yeah. Where? On the roof. On the roof? No, that's a goat. Oh, look who's getting out of the car, Ellie. Wow. Look who it is. Look at that. What are you gonna do? A pony ride. A pony ride? So excited. <laughs> Which one are you gonna ride on? Which one? <laughs> Wow. No, buddy. Make yourself go. There you go. Use your feet. What did you get? Are you being spoiled today? What are they? Are they little dogs? Wait, are you she loves animals? stuffed animals, right? I got one of these leather, handmade leather pouches for my camera. It's like a case. So we're in Berlin going to the color, Colorful Cookery for lunch. It's kind of hidden. You can't really see it from the road necessarily. But we got some coffee at Gingerbread House. And we're gonna get some pizza. Oh. 
Yes. Oh, look my. at that. Okay, here's that. Ooh. That looks good too. You're missing out, Harp. You are missing out. Okay, pizza was phenomenal. Highly recommend that place. We're gonna walk over here to Amish Cotton Goods yet, see what they have. This used to be an old bank. So there's the bank vault. This is sort of like an Etsy shop in real life. Like, or Etsy shops, multiple of them. It's kind of cool. Have you guys ever played Dutch Blitz? It's a lot of fun. Ooh, nice. I don't wear jewelry, but that's some cute jewelry. Oh, so cute. I'm actually going to go to Leith and Linen. I have shown them before in previous videos, but I need to go exchange a shirt that Jana, one of the owners, sent me. It's actually a collection that's coming out in, I think, August. So I need to go get a bigger size because your girl has not, is not quite the same size that I used to be. <laughs> Hopefully eventually. But anyway, mom and my aunt Regina are gonna go along as well, so. show you guys my little haul from today so I'll show you the stuff that I got at Amish cotton goods such a fun store it's just a great store for gifts and then also just I got some personal stuff I could have gotten a lot more but I only have that much room in my suitcase and weight limit you know is a problem and also money so I've got Harper here and this dress I don't know if you guys recognize it at all if you've been with me you may recognize it but um, this Indigo Thread company, they had sent me a dress for Oakland last year like this, and it's a smaller one. So I saw this one, and it's in like a 5'6", but it, Oakland tends to wear dresses that are usually a little bigger than what her size is because of how tall she is. So I'm hoping the two girls can match. So this is just a nice knit. I feel like there's it's so hard to find dresses that are long enough for little girls, but anyway. And then, actually, Kara got these as well. They're really pretty, like, heavy, kind of copper um, candlesticks. So, the smaller one is $19.99, and then the bigger one is $25 or $24.99. So, I think that'll just be a nice staple piece. And then I got the Dutch Blitz card game. And then also I got some, some hair bows for Oakland. She needs some that are like matching, so two. And at Leaf and Linen, I went to exchange this shirt, as I mentioned. So it's like a cream ivory color. They won't have it out until, I think, August, but you can shop online. And they're also now offering that if you see stuff like in store and you need it shipped, you can do that or if you maybe see something in their posts that is not available online you can have them ship it so they'll you'll just like call them and sit and they'll they'll set it all up for you so if you happen to see some things you can and then also i think i have a code that you guys can use lynette 10 for 10 percent off online orders so i got that one i just exchanged it i didn't have to pay for that one they had gifted it to me so i got that one and then I also got one of their Landry, I think this is the Landry skirt. Yes, in the 27 inch. It's like a chambray denim. And then I also got a top. I showed it to you on the phone, but I did get a size bigger, so this is a medium. But the sleeves are really fun. They're like puff sleeves and they have elastic detailing. So that is my little haul. 
Jackie left Holmes County this morning and we're down here at Trent and Kara's place. She's gonna take us to the airport in a couple hours again. Oh, oh no! Look at that! 